All right, welcome back everyone. We are on episode six of Harada Bitter Breath's Adventures into Skyrim. You might notice that everything's a little bit fuzzier than normal, and that is because we currently have dark vision up. We are using that to train our abilities. Looks like we're still hungry, surprisingly. Is there any kind of like junk food we have in our inventory here? A random carrot. I think this is, we're gonna use that to craft the very last uh, beef stew that we have. Um, let's see, is there any, like, junk food that we can grab? Probably. Um, so there is some other items that we had around here, right? Some letters that were right out here that we could read. So, for example, it says here, uh, I have a full score of glass arrows coming in. If you want a piece, I'll sell them to you for a cost. I need to keep the merchandise moving or else that... <laughs> blah, blah, blah. If you want them, they'll be stashed under the docks in the usual place. I'll check back with you in a week. So we might, if we want to, be able to grab some glass arrows from underneath the docks. That is pretty exciting. Uh, let's see, warnings. This is Vex just telling Delvin that he better not peek at her while she's bathing, which is creepy, but that's okay. <laughs> so during this epi episode, I think what we're gonna be doing is returning to Windhelm. Yes, that is correct. That is really weird. I don't know what's going on with the map there. But returning to Windhelm to inform Aventus that Grillod the Kind is dead. So that will be a fun little adventure there. I think instead of taking the carriage, we are going to ride up there. So we might encounter some ridiculousness, but not, definitely not as much as, you know, riding down or riding up, right? Because we've kind of cleared the road. So that should be pretty good. Um, and that's probably going to be our main main adventure for the day is doing that. I don't believe there's that much else we can do down here. I'm gonna quickly, <coughs> excuse me, grab the ingredients for cooking that beef stew, which is some salt and garlic, and then we'll probably head right up. So do we have any ingredients we need to drop off? No, we already dropped them all off. So we are gonna need, God, we have so much garlic, right? And then we need salt and then we just need a cooking pot which I don't think there's a cooking pot anywhere around here um, here we can take a nice cooked horker loaf right and uh, we'll we'll eat this later um, once our human flesh buff runs out right good lord which will be about another two minutes there so uh. any other spells we can cast to kind of get our training up. I mean, Calm, I th I'm pretty sure that, like, is considered an attack on people. And then, or, or Charming Touch. These only work if the people are damaged. And then I'm glad to see that we have animal control now, so we can use that in case we're ever attacked by something that's a little bit, you know, too difficult for us to take on. We'll be able to use that to defend ourselves. So I think we're going to head to Windhelm now. Uh, we don't have much to do here. I might uh, run like an errand or two before we leave, but we should be all right. So we'll do that now. Let's head north. Oh my God, you see that flash? That was really weird. Let's see who this is. Greetings, sister. You look weary. I have something to help you relax. If you're interested. What are you talking about? The finest skooma, the sweetest moon sugar, at a fair price, of course. Let's see if we can get a, uh, a speech check done. No need to get so hostile. Nice. Just take it. Sounds like you need it more than I do. Well, he isn't running. Nice doing business with you, friend. <laughs> I'm assuming that's sarcasm. Take a look. Um, let's see, God, anything, like, really good here? The Sleeping Tree Sap is actually a pretty decent price, considering, like, it does fortify health. Um, what do we currently have is kind of like our, our... You know, this only works if you use it out of combat. So that's... Or, or does, does it work? No, I think it does work when you use it uh, in combat, but stamina regens slower. So... I think we are going to take a sleeping tree sap here, even though it only lasts for 45 seconds. How long does this last for? 
for like 10 minutes. So I think this might be safer to hold on to, to just kind of chug in combat. Moon sugar, we don't actually know what moon sugar does, so I'm going to take one of them. All right, then. It occurred to me after we purchased that, right, that we can just kind of... <laughs> steal like all of this from him right we have a 95 percent chance to steal so pickpocket oh we've got a pickpocket <laughs> who saw that oh okay all witnesses are dead there we go I was like, what the heck? Look, we even died right near the nightshade. I guess this is a uh, common place to to dispatch your enemies. So there we go, let's see. We got, uh, we don't really care about any of that. This is what we care about. We can resell the skooma, have them for lunch, and then nice, we get to take all of the uh, the gems. See, there we go. Is it listing the, uh, yeah, it's listing the sleeping tree sap as, um, Stolen, which is too bad, but excellent. All right, let's move right along. Oh, hold on, goat, goat. Gotta get the extra XP. Before we go inside, also, this is where we stole our horse from, so. <laughs> Excuse me. Sometimes you can, uh... Glance... Uh, uh, glance at their uh, journals and learn a few things, right? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, as outsiders, we cannot heal their wounds, but at least we can keep their goods flowing. Um... Blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Baron's needs the glass. The trade must continue. So I think this is kind of a hint to a uh, like a really good uh, trade deal of somebody who's willing to pay like bonus. Glass of the mountain. I think that means um, malachite, right? Oh, find a book about the merchant's trade. Kajita. Take a look. Does, does he have a book about the merchant's trade? Is this it? I hope that you will come to. What the heck? This is so detailed. Business with us again. Find merchant's come, come journals. See what goods I offer. Is is this like a quest? Yeah, it's like a miscellaneous quest. Interesting. Yeah, resist frost. All, all the things like that, right? We're just going to sell them. Potions of water breathing. We definitely just preferred the gold. Uh, and, and he's out. Look, he only has 250 gold. So any ingredients we can buy here will help us a lot. Um... Oh. <clears throat> Let's learn a bunch of traits first. Help a lot. See you again soon. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh my god. I don't appreciate loiterers. If that's what you're here I'm like, to do. Collapsing to the ground. I don't appreciate loiterers. Oh my god. We What 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 effect was that? What was um I I don't know. I have no idea what that was, but it's gone now. That was hilarious. Just dropping to the ground like <laughs> I hope you I, have coin to I don't appreciate loiterers. Goods. Take a look. Oh, I'm so happy that we robbed this guy. Seriously. He's such a jerk. 
How about the damage health, right? Do we want to buy this from him? Nah. Are there any other, like... Like, resist magic? This this might be really valuable. A 25% resist magic. Um, I think we might take that. Anytime we have, like, uh, I think great... Great resist uh, potions, we'll, we'll buy them. Especially for fire breathing, but... Whatever you've heard I can do is probable. Take a look. There we go. And he has 5,000 gold, too. Nice. Increasing our magicka by 40 points might be valuable. Hey, we got a level up. Nice. Oh, we'll sell this random gold necklace we have, too. Get rid of those. We could sell him all these gems we have. No, we'll hold on to the gems. They uh, they might come in handy, right? Strength and steel. Look at that. We are up to Magic is the true power almost seven thousand gold, right? That is incredible. What do we want to get training in, though? I don't remember who, what other trainers we have around here. It'd be nice to get like training in archery or something. Wait, I know no, you. No, no, no. Wrong time. person, wrong person. Don't talk to a guard to ask them if they can be a trainer. Nope. Nope. Let's just go talk to, uh, what's what's his name? Uh, Aventus, right? Uh, yeah, let's talk to Aventus. Let's turn in this quest. Well? Grohald the Kind. Is she, you know... Well, the kind is get is dead. Aha! I knew you could do it. I just knew it. I knew the Dark Brotherhood would save Butcher me. Butcher the delivery. Here, just like I promised. This should fetch you a nice price. Uh, thank you. Thank you again. And what we got was a platter worth 100 gold. Yay! I mean, you know, it's not bad, right? Can we, uh... No, you can't pickpocket children. I'll go back to the orphanage in a while. I'll give them time to, you know, clean up the mess. <laughs> Dang! All right. Well, at least we don't have to worry about unaccompanied children. So there we go. The um, the next part of the quest, who are you? Just like suspiciously standing here in the cobwebs. Whoa. Look at the colors. I'd better get going. Sus. Excellent. So what we'll do is we'll probably wander around. Um, I mean, we're still wanted by the guard. Do we have any other activities here? No, we got the thing to, to find more journals. Um, Anything to sell, right? We, we still have to do a level up, but we have to do training first. We don't know who Draven is or why we have his bow. But I think, and, and we're definitely keeping all of these. So I think what we might do is try and craft a few potions while we're here. See if there's anything we might be able to throw together. Um, should I learn the other two traits here? Now, we kind of have a standard recipe that we use for mammoth hearts. We always combine them with giant's toes, so. But we'll wander around a little bit. We'll see if there's anything left to do here. Right. At least maybe into, oh, what? Hold it there. Keep your distance. What? Oh, oh, it's it's the murder. Okay, you're not trying to arrest me. What, what happened? Another girl killed. This is Susanna, from Candlehearth Hall. Served me a drink just a few nights ago, but I can't say I knew her. Uh, how is she killed? Same as the others. Looks like she was stabbed, and then cut apart. It's like an animal got to her, but these are the wounds of a blade. Hmm. Another? Has this happened before? Susanna's the third. It's always the same. Young girl killed at night. Body torn up. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, are the murders being investigated? We're stretched thin as it is with the war. 
Nobody has the time to spend on this. Not pleasant, but it's the truth. Hmm. Could you use some help? If you want to help, ask some of these gawkers if they saw anything useful. I'm going to examine the body before the rats can get to it. <laughs> hmm. So it looks like somebody else is going around murdering people. We're the only people who get to murder people, right? Oh, yeah, that is really intense. But ah, yeah. <laughs> yes, we are the type of person that's like, ah, oh, yes, somebody has been murdered, and then we just kind of pick their pocket, right? Let's uh, let's see. I think we will investigate, right? If somebody's going around, you know, killing people. Maybe we can strike a deal with them. We're always looking for more meat, so. Another one. Terrible. Did you see what happened here? I heard a scream and came running, but she was already like this when I got here. That's so sad. How much is it for uh, training, by the way? To no good, are we? Oh, like a thousand I'll gold per level? You. It's too much. Too much right now. Always sad when someone has to die. Calixto, did you see what happened? Sorry, I thought I saw a fellow running away, but didn't get a good look at him. Hmm, okay. Fair enough. How about you? This is a shame. You see what happened? Uh, no, sorry. But I did notice that her coin purse was still intact, so whoever did this wasn't after gold. I'm going to keep preparing the body, <laughs> if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good thing her coin purse is still intact. Wait, I know you. Uh, okay, time to go. <laughs> well, too bad, I guess. I guess we'll have to. <laughs> All right. I think what we'll do, let's see. Yeah, we'll head back down to Rifted. We're gonna end up, um getting teleported somewhere else. But we'll head back down to Riften and that's where we're gonna end the episode. And then um, during our next episode, we'll we'll go to sleep. So we're gonna head back down, then we'll craft some uh, some potions, right? That'll be how we end the, end the episode. And then we'll attempt, sell them, and we'll see how much gold we have at the end of the day. Hmm. Oh. Don't you remember there was stuff down inside the mine? Who is this? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. From who? Don't know. Creepy fella. Black robe. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay. Thanks. What is it? Mysterious note. We know. Bum, bum, bum. <clears throat> As I was saying, we are gonna very quickly run up to the mine here because there's actually like some valuables that are up in the mine that we can take. As long as we kind of avoid the guard. We, uh, we discovered this a little bit ago, but I don't think we ever actually went into the mine to collect any of it. Since we were passing by Kynes Grove, right? And uh, here was the person that could give us training, right? Look at her tattoos on her face. Cool. Oh right, all of the mushrooms here. So we'll run around collecting the mushrooms. But the uh, the most valuable thing, I was the chest was empty, I was like, yeah, we'll do that later. The most valuable things are on this table, right? Introduction to Malachite. And we can just take this. It's just sitting here for us to take. It's not stealing. So, and then you have an enchanting book right here too. So, not bad, right? Not bad at all. We'll, uh, we'll continue wandering around a little bit because there's some mushrooms here. And we, we might consider 
mining some of the malachite in exchange for gems, but probably not. So we're gonna run around and uh, collect some of the mushrooms that are around here. So coming outside, we, uh, oh, hey, hello. We managed to s collect, what did we collect for the mushrooms? Anybody remember what type of mushrooms they were? 43 of them. We collected 43 mushrooms with Frenzy, right? Frenzy is a, I, th I think it's a reasonably good uh, trait for, and, and it's like 250 gold per. So this is, you know, a, a decent amount if we can find something to match it. We also have this worth 2,000 gold. We could probably sell it for 1,000, then one of those too. And uh, we ended up stealing a Nern root and eating it because we still had some trades to discover, so. All right, they're staring at us because they probably remember who we are, but they're not quite sure. So let's continue heading south. Mike doesn't have anything, right? God, what type of person am I stealing from Mike? Mike has a bunch of skooma? Oh my God, Mike! What are you doing? We're gonna steal all of his skooma. <laughs> Don't do skooma, Mike. Bad for you. Goodness. What is that over there? It's like a hunter's camp or something? Oh. Oh my god, who, what, ah, ah! Who's this? What the heck? We're under attack! I'll kill you! Why are we under attack? What the hell was that? What in the heck? Was this the guy who was selling skooma earlier? Did he come back to life? What? Was he not dead? I'll have to, maybe this is his friend or something. Guy was trying to punch my horse. Not cool, yo. Yeah, looks like a, a hunter's camp, right? So we'll say hello. Hey, what's up? Hmm? Yeah, what do you, what you guys have look? for sale, right? Just no, no ingredients? You don't have any? Oh, he has a... Take a look. Hold on a sec, right? We'll take those large animal bones. They're like super cheap. Take those. See you. How about, how about you? Yeah. Anything? Take a look. Uh, I mean, they have all these, uh... Okay. All these things like that, right? Let's see, I don't think... There's no way. Maybe when they turn her away for, uh... No, no, look, we're hidden, we're hidden. 700 gold. Oof. What we got, coin purse, two-handed sword? Or two-handed book? Oh, this looks like uh, we can just take it without stealing it, so that's pretty good. We're not gonna steal any of their horses, but Hypothetically, we, uh, I'm just curious. Oh, no, no, that, that would actually, like, get on the horse. We don't want to do that. Oh, my goodness. They took down a mammoth. Look at all the mammoth meat. And then a bunch of tusks, right? Some empty crates. Yeah, they have a whole operation here. Too bad we can't really harvest uh, any of the animal fat out of the mammoth. That would be amazing if we could. All right, well, we uh, 
We took what we could from them, right? I'm pleased. We could probably pickpocket one of them uh, if we can get the other one with their back turned. Oh, like that, just like that, just like that. What they got, right? Anything good here? Not really. I mean, we can try pickpocketing the gold, but I feel like, yeah, we'll, we'll try it, right? There we go. How about the other guy? Let's see what he has. Oh, oh, the other guy's coming back. All right, all right, let's. <laughs> uh... Oh, that was pretty good. Oh my god, his body is gone. It was him. We didn't kill him. Holy crap, we didn't kill him. He got back up and came after us. What the heck? That is crazy, man. Whoa. Oh my god. Holy cow, this must have been like a... What? They took out all of the Imperials. Oh my god. All right, well, we, uh, we know how to take care of this, right? My goodness. What was that amulet we picked up? I saw that. Because uh, we've been wearing an amulet of Talos. We could do... Amulet of Stendar, but yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, here was the circlet that we stole. Nice, very nice. Bunch of other weapons and stuff. Um, I think we probably picked up some food too. I don't know. No, it looks like we didn't. Yeah, some wine and other stuff we're gonna have to sell. Okay. Let's. Uh, I I think that might have been it, right? I don't think they. They took out any of the other soldiers, but... <laughs> that was slightly unexpected. Yeah, you guys, uh, you guys missed some. Alright, so we... We sold all of the miscellaneous junk within our inventory, right? We still have a bunch of ingredients, but we sold all those, and we've, we've pretty much cleared everything out. All the stolen goods, too, except for these. But we've managed to accumulate almost 10,000 gold. So that, it was great looting all of those, uh, the, the dead and like the different gems and everything else that we took. We we got in a great haul, seriously. So Stick with we're me. gonna do five levels of sneak. Here. We're gonna get this up to level 30. And that took around 2,500 gold, right? Well, well about 2,000 gold. So next we'll do a level up here, so we'll go up to level 14. We're already halfway to level 15, so <clears throat> I think what we might do... Brynjolf isn't a trainer, right? All eyes no. are on you, lass. Don't disappoint us. Do we want... <sighs> what, what else should we put levels into? That's a good question. I think we'll decide that on the next episode, right? That's where we're going to end today. We have 7,500 gold left. We're doing way better than we were at the beginning of this episode. And uh, we'll drop off, oh my god. We, uh, so we put on our, our haggling uh, hat here and we look, we do look so much cooler with it on. And even though the other one has increased armor, I think we might stick with this one just because it looks so much cooler. So thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you all have a wonderful night. 